This research focuses our design of supply chain network with the consideration of supply chain cost, greenhouse gas emission and the priority index. Supply chain cost, supply chain cost is a dependent factor and a dependent factor is a function of resources and independent factor. Traditional literature focused the control of resources for managing the dependent factor. However, in this research we are focusing the both resources and the independent factor. Energy cost is an independent factor. Fuel and electricity are the prime sources of energy. So their cost affects total supply chain cost. Traditional cost uncertainty model considered the cost values fluctuating between two fixed limits. However, in reality, the future cost value must be dependent on the past value and they should follow some trend. Therefore, we are considering time series forecasted cost uncertainty, which is a more practical criteria for modeling the uncertainty in the cost. Greenhouse gas emission. Design of a friendly, environment friendly supply chain network requires low greenhouse gas emissions during production and the transportation. Priority index. In addition to the quantitative factors, there are some qualitative characteristics of players which may affect the performance of overall supply chain. For example, good quality, organizational safety and the relationship ensure good performance of a player within the supply chain. So if a player has a good performance within the supply chain, it is highly preferred by the other players and the poor performance indicates its low priority by other players within the supply chain. So in order to use the qualitative characteristics within the supply chain model, we have converted those qualitative factors into the quantitative ones. For that, we have introduced a priority index. Priority index is a number obtained after the quantification of the set of qualitative factors with some computational procedures. For example, quality, organizational safety, behavior and skill level can be converted to a numeric value that we name a priority index. So this research addresses the design of multi-period and multi-objective supply chain network with the objectives of minimization of cost, minimization of greenhouse gas emission and the maximization of priority index. For the cost parameter modeling, we have proposed a decomposition based extended ARIMA time series forecasting method. For the priority index parameter modeling, we have proposed an AHP based fuzzy inference decision support system. For greenhouse gas emission modeling, we have provided the mechanism for selection of vehicles with variable size and technology. And in order to solve this supply chain problem, we have proposed a self weight adjusting interactive multi objective fuzzy programming. But due to the time constraint, in this presentation, I will just focus the first that is decomposition based extended ARIMA methodology. Before going into the de ARIMA process, I would like to recall ARIMA process. ARIMA process is an integration of autoregressive and moving average with some different separator. And it is used to forecast the non stationary time series data. But it cannot be used for the long term forecasting because of the over damping. Box Jenkin methodology is one of the famous methodology used for the ARIMA process, but it has certain disadvantages. It uses autocorrelation function and partial autocorrelation function for the model identification, which are purely judgmental and graphical, and they require statistical skill. This method does not minimize the forecasting error and it does not consider the future uncertainty. In order to overcome the limitation of ARIMA process, we have hybridized ARIMA with decomposition model to form a two phase approach that we call de ARIMA. In training phase, given the actual or target data, set of forecasting errors have been minimized using exact combination method and the model parameters obtained in the first phase are then used in the forecasting for the forecasting purpose. So this is literature review. You can see that the use of DARIMA and use of exact combination method for the model identification is not well focused in the traditional literature. 
So equation two is the simplest form of uh, uh, d arima in which y t is arima forecasted value, and we consider it as uncertain. So if it is uncertain, we treat it as a fuzzy variable. So if it is fuzzy variable, it must be converted to a CRISP model. For that, we require a membership function and the defuzzification method. We have used triangular membership function and we have adopted sign distance method for the defuzzification. Equation 4 is a CRISP model in which delta 1 and delta 2 are deviational parameters which are purely random and we need to consider the non-stationary behavior while we find out the values of these deviational parameters. So these steps have been followed to find out the values of deviational parameters. So equation 8 is a final form of d arima. So these are the set of forecasting error that we need to minimize subject to the bounds. Here p, d, q, v are the integer decision variable and if integer decision var variable have non bound bounds then their feasible uh, region contains a finite set of solution. So if there are finite set of solution it is possible to evaluate each point within the feasible region. To do this we have introduced exact combination method which consists of the following step. First we calculate total number of possible solutions and then we generate all unique possible combination of the parameters. Then we normalize all functions convert them to a single objective and then we evaluate that normalized single objective subject to the bounds within the feasible region using the following formulation and we select the combination of parameter at which we get the minimum uh, forecasting error. So in order to implement the ARIMA methodology uh, we have collected uh, time series data of electricity and diesel oil from the Pakistan Bureau of Statistics and we have forecasted and this entire the ARIMA process has been coded in MATLAB on the personal computer with following specification and equation 20 is the ARIMA equation and the table 2 shows the characteristics of deviational parameters. Equation 20 is the D ARIMA equation for electricity and the table 3 shows the characteristics of deviational parameters. So this is the result of D ARIMA electricity forecasting. You can see that the once we get the model parameter in training phase using those parameter we can forecast for the next few periods. So this is the result for D ARIMA diesel oil forecasting. So in order to evaluate the performance of D ARIMA we have solved the same case study with the help of different methods such as ARIMA, multivariate ARIMA and winter method. And it has been found and it is shown in figure that the set of forecasting error in D ARIMA are less than the other methods. So these are the some conclusion. D ARIMA is useful for the long term forecasting. It considers the future uncertainty. Damping factor in D ARIMA reduces the overshooting and the multi error minimization makes D ARIMA a robust forecasting method. Exact combination method provides best model parameter as compared to the autocorrelation function and the partial autocorrelation function. D ARIMA has less error than other methods such as ARIMA, multivariate, multivariate ARIMA and the winter method. These are the some references and that is all from me and if you have any questions please.